Types of text 1. Analytical exposition 2. Anecdote 3. Descriptive 4. Narrative 5. Procedure 6. News item 7. Discussion 8. Explanation 9. Hortatory exposition 10. Report 11. Spoof 12. Recount 13. Review. Analytical exposition text What is analytical exposition? 1. Definition of analytical exposition Exposition is a text that elaborates the writer's idea about the phenomenon surrounding. Its social function is to persuade the reader that the idea is important matter. 2. Generic structure of analytical exposition Thesis Introducing the topic and indicating the writer's position Argument 1. Explaining the argument to support the writer's position Argument 2. Explaining the other arguments support the writer's position more Reiteration Restating the writer's position 3. Language features of analytical exposition, using relational process, using internal conjunction, using causal conjunction, using simple present tense. Cars should be banned in the city thesis cars should be banned in the city. As we all know, cars create pollution, and cause a lot of road deaths and other accidents. Arguments firstly, cars, as we all know, contribute to most of the pollution in the world. Cars emit a deadly gas that causes illnesses such as bronchitis, lung cancer, and triggers off asthma. Some of these illnesses are so bad that people can die from them. Secondly, the city is very busy. Pedestrians wander everywhere and cars commonly hit pedestrians in the city, which causes them to die. Cars today are our road's biggest killers. Thirdly, cars are very noisy. If you live in the city, you may find it hard to sleep at night, or concentrate on your homework, and especially talk to someone. Reiteration and conclusion, cars should be banned from the city for the reasons listed. Example of analytical exposition is smoking good for us? Before we are going to smoke, it is better to look at the fact. About 50,000 people die every year in Britain as direct result of smoking. This is seven times as many as die in road accidents. Nearly a quarter of smokers die because of diseases caused by smoking. 90% of lung cancers are caused by smoking. If we smoke five cigarettes a day, we are six times more likely to die of lung cancer than a non-smoker. If we smoke 20 cigarettes a day, the risk is 19 greater. 95% of people who suffer of bronchitis are people who are smoking. Smokers are two and a half times more likely to die of heart disease than non-smokers. Additionally, children of smoker are more likely to develop bronchitis and pneumonia. In one hour in smoky room, Non-smoker breathes as much as substance causing cancer as if he had smoked 15 cigarettes. Smoking is really good for tobacco companies because they do make much money from smoking habit. Smoking however is not good for everybody else. Small notes analytical exposition, exposition analytis, seriumum, ton communicative text, mima parkin dan mim pangarui audience, pendinger tau pimbaka. Structure text slash generic structure thesis, pernyatan pindapat argument, terdiriatas point yang dike mukakin dan elaboracy, reiteration, pinguatan pernyatan. Siri kaba asan, mengi nakan, general nouns, misal nyakar, pollution, leaded pedal car, DSB. Abstract nouns, misal nya policy, government, DSB. Technical verbs, Miscellaneous species of animals, DSB. Relating verbs, miscellaneous it is important, DSB. Action verbs, miscellaneous she must save, DSB. Thinking verbs, miscellaneous many people believe, DSB. Modal verbs, miscellaneous we must preserve, DSB. Modal adverbs, miscellaneous certainly, we, DSB. Connectives, miscellaneous firstly, secondly, DSB. Bahasa evaluative, miscellaneous important, Valuable, trustworthy, DSB. Kalimat Pesif. Definition and social function of anecdote. Anecdote is a text which retells funny and unusual incidents in fact or imagination. Its purpose is to entertain the readers. Generic structure of anecdote 1. Abstract 2. Orientation 3. Crisis 4. Incident. Language feature of anecdote 1. Using exclamation word, it's awful, it's wonderful, etc. 2.
Using imperative, listen to this tiga. Using rhetoric question, do you know what? Empat. Using action verb, go, write, at C5. Using conjunction of time, then, after what? Enam. Using simple past tense. Examples and structures of the text snake in the bath. How would you like to find a snake in your bath? A nasty one too. We had just moved into a new house, which had been empty for so long that everything was in a terrible mess. Anna and I decided we would clean the bath first, so we set to, and turned on the tap. Suddenly to my horror, a snake's head appeared in the plug hole. Then out slithered the rest of his long thin body. He twisted and turned on the slippery bottom of the bath, spitting and hissing at us. For an instant I stood there quite paralyzed. Then I yelled for my husband, who luckily came running and killed the snake with the handle of a broom. Anna, who was only three at the time, was quite interested in the whole business. Indeed I had to pull her out of the way or she'd probably have leant over the bath to get a better look. Ever since then I've always put the plug in firmly before running the bath water. Small notes 2. Anekdote. Cerita lucu, ciri umum, A. Tujuan komunikatif teks, menceritakan kejadian, peristiwa lucu berdasarkan hayalan atau peristiwa nyata yang bertujuan menghibur. B. Struktur teks, generik strukture abstrak, abstrak, pengenalan, orientation, krisis, krisis, tindakan, insiden, koda, coda, C. Ciri kebahasaan, menggunakan, seruan, kata seru, pertanyaan retorik dan kata-kata seperti listen to this. And do you know what? It's awful, isn't it? DSB. Action verbs, misalnya go, worite, DSB. Konjungtions yang berhubungan dengan waktu, seperti ten, afterwards, DSB. Tiga, description text, what is descriptive text? Satu, the definition and purpose of descriptive text. Descriptive text is a text which says what a person or a thing is like. Its purpose is to describe and reveal a particular person, place, or thing. Dua, the generic structure of descriptive text. Descriptive text has structure as below. Identification, identifying the phenomenon to be described. Description, describing the phenomenon in parts, qualities, or and characteristic. Tiga, telan buagi feature of descriptive text using attributive and identifying process. Using adjective and classifiers in nominal group. Using simple present tense. Macquarie University. Identification Macquarie University is one of the largest universities in Australia. This year, in 2004, it celebrates its 40th anniversary. Description The university is located at the North Ride Green Belt. Sydney, where the New South Wales government sets aside 135 hectares for the institution. In 1964, Macquarie area was a rural retreat on the city fringe, but today the campus and its surroundings have evolved beyond recognition. The North Ride district has grown into a district of intensive occupation anchored by a vibrant and growing university. Blessed with a fortunate location and room to breathe, Macquarie can be proud of that careful planning that retains and enrich the university's most attractive natural features. A pleasing balance between buildings and plating is evident across the campus. This emphasis on the importance of landscape has created images of Macquarie as a place that members of the university are most likely to pleasurably recollect. One of the highlights of the landscape is the Mars Creek Zone. It comprises landscaped creek sides and valley floor, a grass amphitheater, an artificial lake, surrounded by rocks and pebbles, native plants and eucalypts. Today, a railway station is under construction. In 3YEARS one time, Macquarie will be the only university in Australia with a railway station on site. Macquarie is poised to be the most readily accessible in Sydney region by rail and motorway, yet retaining its beautiful site. Borobudur Temple Borobudur is Hindu, Buddhist temple. It was built in the Nineth century under Salendra dynasty of ancient Mataram kingdom. Borobudur is located in Majlang, central Java, Indonesia. Borobudur is well known all over the world. 
its construction is influenced by the Gupta architecture of India. The temple is constructed on a hill 46 m high and consists of eight step-like stone terrace. The first five terraces are square and surrounded by walls adorned with Buddhist sculpture in bas-relief. The upper three are circular. Each of them is with a circle of bell-shaped stupa. The entire edifice is crowned by a large stupa at the center at the center of the top circle. The way to the summit extends through some 4.8 kilometers of passage and starways. The design of Borobudur which symbolizes the structure of universe influences temples at Angkor, Cambodia. Borobudur Temple which is rededicated as an Indonesian monument in 1983 is a valuable treasure for Indonesian people.